I can't tell you what to do. But you're my big brother, and you're supposed to tell me what to do. Yeah, but then you just resent me and rebel. Am I that predictable? You're an independent spirit. I know better than to try to rein you in. <laughs> now, sometimes I can't help but blame it all on timing. If Emily had still been alive, then Nicholas and I would have never happened. Lucky and I would be married, and we'd all be happy. You sure about that? Hey. All right, just picked up your message. What have you got? Well, I went out to check what's left of the cabin one more time, and I found a strand of hair in the floorboards. Enough for a DNA sample? Yes. So if it's Claudia's hair, that puts her in the cabin. Mm -hmm. Which means everyone we've talked to is lying. But if it isn't Claudia's hair, we'll run DNA tests on everyone. We just might find our killer. This is some nice work. Thanks. Think we'll have any trouble getting DNA samples from the people in the cabin? Not if everyone's as innocent as they say. A lot of people stayed in that cabin over the years. Maybe that hair may have no connection to the murder. Or it may lead us to a suspect we haven't even considered. Are you saying I would have cheated on Lucky no, regardless? I don't know what would have happened if Emily had lived, and neither do you. Yeah, I really doubt your life would be as idyllic as you seem to think. You know, by constantly comparing yourself to, to some impossible standard, what, what things would have or could have or should have been like, you're keeping yourself in limbo. You are torn in two between what you think you should want and feel and what you actually do. Nicholas caught me completely by surprise. I have never felt this kind of... I don't even know what to call it. Passion, need, obsession. And it's not like I don't feel those things for Lucky, because I do. It's just... it's different. Passion hasn't been that kind to you, Lizzie. It's one reason you wound up being stuck with a gram while Dad was out trying to heal the world. Yeah, I know. I know I wasn't a priority, and it's okay. I'm over it. But I certainly don't ever want my children or Lucky to feel like they come second to anyone or anything. I just need to stay on track and honor my commitments to them. That's all well and good, but passion doesn't work like that. Passion comes out of nowhere, and it hits you when you least expect it. And you find yourself doing things that you can't even imagine. Well, then I guess I'm just going to have to try harder to shut it down. That hasn't worked so far. What makes you think it's going to start working now? I'm starting to see a pattern. Every time Lucky and I get close to what we say we've always wanted, I throw something in the middle of us. First Jason, and now Nicholas. Well, maybe, maybe you don't want a life. We're lucky after all. Maybe it's what you think you no, want. No, no. No, I love him. Yeah, but if you have to shut part of yourself down to be with him, what does that say? And whatever happened to that wild and rebellious streak? Oh. That's who wanted to be with Nicholas. He seems a little dangerous <laughs> in, a, in a privileged sort of way. Being with Nicholas was self-destructive. And if Lucky ever finds out, it will destroy my family. Yeah. Well, I don't see any way out of this without someone getting hurt. And when you finally make a choice and stick to it, it'll be better for everyone you care about. Which puts me right back where I started. <sighs> Lizzie, you can't ignore what's real. And whatever you're feeling in your gut, even if it seems wrong at first, you have to go with that. <sighs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me know. I will. Thank you. Hi. Hey. The boys around? Graham's gonna drop him off in a little while. I uh, wanted to talk to you about Nicholas. Frank, who is... A lot of things are finally starting to make sense. I, I confronted Nicholas. You did? What did he say? Falling in love with you just happened, that he never meant to hurt anyone. I know that's true. Well, I should have paid a little closer attention to why my dad's been acting so strange. I mean, he saw...
Nicholas's feelings for you, he picked up on it. I mean, I couldn't see it because I trusted my brother. It's my mistake. You know this is all about him spiraling out over Emily. No, I'm not. I'm not buying that excuse anymore. If Nicholas wants to use Emily's death to justify every bad choice he makes, that's fine. I don't really care anymore. But I don't want Nicholas in my life. Not now. I'm so sorry. Why do you keep apologizing? I mean, Nicholas is the one that, that took advantage of your friendship. Well, I just... I didn't want to cause a rift between you and your brother. And I still don't. And whatever Nicholas has done, or whatever he thinks he feels for me, he's still your brother and he loves you. Why are you defending him? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at him, not at you. I'm so sorry. I should have handled this differently. Let's, uh, let's just not dwell on it, okay? I mean, let's just forget Nicholas. Let's focus on us and our dreams. I mean, that's, that's what we have to do. I mean, we might own that, that property by spring. We could have our dream house, you know? Perfect little place for <laughs> us and the boys. Yeah, that sounds great. I want us to start dreaming again, Elizabeth. I want to think about the future and how amazing it will be to spend the rest of my life with you. Thank you. Hello? I'm leaving tonight. I won't be back. 